yo welcome frony so the halloween event it just hit and it's not some low effort event they actually created a whole dungeon they have changed fishing they have implemented a hidden salary that you have to find and the rewards in general are really valuable so let's make sure that you get the highest value out of that event We are going to start with the daily dungeon runs that you can be getting. And for that, you will go and click the check-in one where you have a daily selection that you can claim. You can also see that sometimes you will get two a day. Sometimes you will only get one a day. It is going to be a total of 30 candy corns that you can get out of here. So that is also 30 dungeon runs. And even if you miss a day, it doesn't matter. You can go for rectified miss days and then you can collect five days even though you were not online. I think that's a pretty fair system. The second way to get candy corn on other things is actually find the hidden seller in Vienta village and then just purchase it off him. There you can get one candy corn a day additionally. So that should add up to being able to do 51 dungeon runs in that whole event. The next thing that the event offers is actually new fish that you can catch. Here we're having the gummy fish with 3.5% move speed and 3% attack speed. And we're having the pumpkin taffy with 100 boss hit chance and species damage both. So I think the pumpkin taffy is something that is really good for like Gate of Infinity, for example, and we're farming. It also lasts 15 minutes, so you can do some runs. The gummy fish, on the other hand, is actually wrongly declared. It is declared as an attack food here, but it's actually the same as the quality scorpion tail fritters, and you cannot even stack it together. And that one lasts 30 minutes, and that one only lasts three minutes in the current description. So overall, I would say the fishing value is not that great. If you're going to do it anyways, then it's a nice addition. Also, the food has a 32 day cooldown, which makes it not worth stacking. The new event also offers new cooking recipes, but here's my clear recommendation. Do not craft any of that. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Maybe as the last resort when the event is about to end and you have leftover resources, but overall it's not worth it. Here, the spooky pumpkin pie will also need the daily limited resource golden rye. No benefit to crafting normal food besides that dead food here can apparently not be sold in the auction house and if you get great successes from the other food it can be sold at least i was not able to find any food being sold in the auction house so far then the other one is the Shoko spider cookie with critical hit chance and critical damage this food will be worth for some classes but overall the majority of the classes is actually better off with the food that you can normally craft but only do that with your last dimension pumpkins because you can get way more value out of those pumpkins otherwise so if you want to turn in your rewards you will go to vienta village right here at that circle here you will find the event exchange manager and the currency of the event is the dimension pumpkin which you can get either by the hidden seller or by completing the dungeons and here in that shop we are also having weekly limits so that means you have to use your currency wisely and you're buying it exactly in that order trade unlock stone highest value out of that event next up is the enchanted ink then comes the trade extraction stone and the quality stellarite and as you've already seen in the daily check-in the event lasts three weeks so do not go and now spend your currency on one of those skins or whatever until you do not have all the power bought out of the shop from all three weeks so save your resources there also it's important that those you do not even have to buy because they can also be dropped in the dungeon so when we are going to co-op dungeon haunted labyrinth and we are going to percentage here we will see that those skins are also being dropped and when we are hovering over it we are seeing that they are giving solent so the buy strategy is going to be buy everything that has power those are one-time purchase only and even if you have them double in the end you will purchase them again just to npc them and to get the solent out of there and now let's go to the dungeon mechanics so you have an easy clear in there i'm pretty sure we can skip those yeah so in reality you can actually skip those mobs at the start you go here you go and use those pumpkins 
and you try to find the key in the pumpkins, you can actually also ignore their mobs. It's not that important. So now we got it. Now we can go and open the pumpkin keyhole right here. Now we need to get in that one. Now we are filled. It's basically your mates need to defend you so you can pick up pumpkins. When you get touched by a monster once with a pumpkin, you're dropping it again. So best is if a tank pulls basically the whole room and the others are just transporting the pumpkins. And you also need to have a door opener because if you have the pumpkin, you can also not wear it. You need to always pick up those with the white symbol on top. Now we have to go back to the wagon without being touched by a mob. Someone needs to open the door for me. Before the mobs are coming, please. Okay, thanks. Good, they tank that one. So now the wagon is back up and we can go ride it. Block that one. See, that guy didn't block. And that's why he got kicked out of the wagon. You have to be careful, they deal a bunch of damage. If someone of your mates gets put into a prison, you do want to um, attack the prison to get help them out of there. Yeah, you have to dodge that crazy dude. At the start, you have to dodge away and then you have to go back in. It's similar to the world boss mechanic that we already have. Okay, now he's popping the pumpkins. Those you have to knock towards the boss and that will help to destroy the shield. Here you want to go through the ones that are lighting up. So you're now see he does like a crazy attack, one shot, and you want to dodge that while being in one of those pumpkins. Here you have to go similar to Tyrant Isle. You always have to dodge his AoE. Burry, he does the AoE. Yeah, guys, that was it. If you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.